Welcome back everyone to another episode of Tyler's Fishing Post. Gotta get the old shades on, sunglasses, uh, because it is super, super bright out here. So because you guys absolutely blew up uh, last video, we won a tournament. Since you guys blew that up, you smashed the like, you subscribed, I saw it, the numbers spiked up. Thank you guys so much. I'm not even gonna tell you to subscribe in this video. You guys get, you guys get a week off. I'm not telling you to like, I'm not telling you to subscribe. If you wanna do that, feel free. I'm not telling you to though. So, don't feel like you have to. So, thank you guys so much for absolutely blowing up the last video. So I'm just trying, I'm just trying to look, because look, look at this juiciness. I know you can't see, but it's juicy. Crystal clear water, woo! Crystal clear water, it's so sick. So I'm pretty pumped. I, I think we're gonna catch them today. We're gonna catch them. So make sure you go check out Noble's Marine, link in the description. And uh, with that being said, we're gonna try to break down this lake for y'all, see what is going on, see how to catch fish when, cold front came through temperature dropped down 30 i think it was like 36 last night it's 38 right now it is freezing and they were just loaded up on the beds and then they all pulled off with this cold front so we're gonna figure out where the fish moved to so we know they were up shallow because it was super warm all the fish pulled up and then cold front came they all they moved they move not far they're not gonna go far they're gonna stay close to their beds so we're gonna see if we can break it down see what we can find and uh stay tuned keep watching and let's go so guys, the first thing I love to do when I get out to a new lake is graph. The bad thing is, I'll literally do it for hours. Look for the points, look for any deep spots, look for anything that stands out on your on your contour map. And the biggest thing that stood out to me was this guy. And it's a flat, and basically, uh, flat is when it's super deep in the lake and then it comes up to a certain spot and then it will come back down as you can see what it's doing right here it like goes off goes down and see here's the thing this flat is eight foot so that means that it is super deep where we're in the blue and then the white it comes up to eight foot so i'm looking to see that change in depth haven't really seen it yet but i have noticed that the grass as you can see there's like just thick grass everywhere so as you can see is when we come through here, the grass will stop, which is so good. Like I just said, the holes in the grass, is so epic, I love, that's literally how I target fish. If you're fishing like loads of grass, that's the first thing you gotta look for is the holes in the grass. It's normally what I do, and I'll show you guys, I'll gladly show you guys out here on this private lake. But when we're on the chain, you guys can be a little, uh, little crazy, you know? You guys can be a little crazy for uh, spots and info like that. But, we're right here in a private lake, so it doesn't matter. So go apply this onto the chain uh, if it's uh, useful to you. As you can see, it hasn't stopped yet. Once we get up here a little bit further where these red waypoints are, uh, you'll see that the grass just stops. And this was the first like hard stop I saw where the grass literally was like this. All the other uh, little spots I saw, the grass gradually stopped. But this little area, it was like a hard just drop off. So let's see if we can see it. There we go, guys. That is what we were looking for right there. Look at that juiciness. Look at that. So that just looks too good. I don't think they're gonna move all the way out here to 10 foot of water, unless there's beds out here. Unless they're respawning out here and they're out here. Haven't seen a whole lot of signs of beds out here, but uh, yeah, just interesting to come come out here and see what's going on. Because if there's like a shell bar out here, then they, they'd probably be all over this. So, I also might have been a shell bar back there for real. But, uh, let's move up shallow, see what we can do. We'll probably graph a little bit longer until the sun comes up a little bit further until we can see, uh, I mean, we can obviously see in the water right now, but I'm just going to graph for a little bit longer. Graph the little juicy spots we see on the map, and then uh, we'll start fishing up shallow and break it down from there. There you go. There you go. That's a fish. Oh man, so tiny. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, this is the male. as soon as I picked him up. 
Oh gosh. Alrighty everyone. Pull up to a spot where I where we graphed and it looked like a bed. It looked like a bed on the graph. It just like this kind of circle thing, and I wasn't sure if it was a bed or not. It's like it kind of looks like a bed. It's like in some deeper water, so you can't see it. But my first cast on it, I caught a fish, and I was like, okay. As soon as I picked him up, he started peeing. So I was like, okay, it's got to be the male then, which is so crazy. First cast, and I just kind of guessed. I was like, okay, there's the waypoint. I'm going to cast here. We're like 40 foot away from it. Then I catch the male, and I was like, okay, that's interesting. So what if there's a bigger fish on it as well? I just need to line up correctly with it. What's crazy, everyone, is that uh, this bed I saw, oh my gosh, I just got popped. No way, guys, no way. Oh, okay, it's another fish. It's a decent, a little better sized fish. A little bigger than the last one. Let's see if this guy's also peeing. Yeah. Yeah, it's right, like, dead smack on that spot. I lined up again with it perfectly. I just caught this fish. Really crazy one, because uh, we... So what we did was we basically... Uh, we looked for beds in... Uh, one of the coves that had the sun on it the longest so far today and marked probably like seven eight beds no fish on them no fish around them didn't see anything so i'm assuming these fish have moved off and they're out deeper well everyone a little midday update uh we basically took a huge chunk of time to just mark beds and uh, look for bass sort of deal because these bass are gonna be moving up really soon so we stopped fishing offshore, which we knew they were offshore. We knew they were in the holes of the grass and all that. And we just went up shallow to just mark beds, see if we saw any fish on beds. We didn't see a single fish on a bed, but we saw a bunch of fish roaming around the areas where there were beds. So that's a good sign that they're gonna move up soon. So now we're gonna focus on just trying to catch some fish now after we've marked like the majority of beds on this, on this lake. We've marked a ton of beds, like it's insane. So now we're just gonna try and catch some fish and uh, Stay tuned, Let's see what happens. You got it? Oh my gosh, everyone. Oh. That took forever. Literally hours and hours of not catching the fish. Finally catching a fish. So crazy. So crazy. Fishing has really slowed down. Even though you think it should be getting better because uh, it's getting warmer. Water temperature is getting warmer. Uh, it's just been really slowing down. It's so tough out here. Trying our best to uh, find something. Put something together. Figure it out. Just do not know. We literally are checking all the uh, same areas that uh, we found fish before. Like we literally fished this entire lake and we're coming back to each of these spots now where we found fish previously earlier today. And uh, we're going to see what's going on because they should be moving up uh, later in the day. They should be moving from out up a little bit more shallow. Uh, so keep fishing, see what happens. Oh, there we go. Oh, please be a bass. Hey, it's a bass, everyone. Let's go. Caught way too many pickerel out here, everyone. Whew. Okay, everyone, we're catching some bass again. Uh, not bad, not bad. Tiny, tiny little guy, but uh, dang, it's just, I don't really know what to say. Like, we've graphed all over this lake everything we've looked at literally everything on this lake uh, I don't know 
I do not know. There's like a, we've probably seen like 200 beds, 200 beds, and we only found one bed that had male and a female on it. Uh, it was like a four pounder, and like male was like a pound, and they weren't really locked on it. So that is what has gone on today. We we've tried everything. It's like two, three o'clock right now, and uh, it has been a slow day. This morning wasn't bad because we caught them pretty quick, but nothing really big at all. Uh, but yeah, just not the best day in the world. But it was probably like absolutely loaded a couple days ago. Because, I mean, think about 200 beds and like last two weeks, the uh, bed fishing was in its prime is doing good and now I uh, want to come out here and film a video and uh, boom cold fronts yes let's keep fishing probably not gonna be out here too much longer we're gonna fish this little area because uh, we came in here uh, earlier today and there's fish everywhere in here there's beds everywhere such a good little spot so we're just gonna fish this area pretty thoroughly see what we can do and then we're gonna go back to that uh, bed fish we saw and see if they're locked on the bed and see if we can catch them. Cause that'd be a great way to end the day by catching like a four pound uh, fish off a of bed. That'd be sick. So stay tuned, let's see what happens. Well, everyone, that is gonna wrap it up for today's video. Unfortunately, it was a very tough and slow day. Trying to break down in this lake was definitely a challenge. Uh, definitely lake conquered us. We didn't conquer the lake. Definitely sucks, but uh, that's fishing sometimes. It sometimes happens like this. Unfortunately, this cold front came through and absolutely ruined the fishing all over. It really is uh, unfortunate because we went out to Lake Yale last night and Lake Yale was very tough as well. And that is just because water temps are in the 50s, 60s, and they were just in like the 70s like a few days ago, which is really crazy. All the bedding fish were up and now they're all pulled off the beds and uh, unfortunately, yes, that is the case. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something today. You can use this information I've given you to like maybe apply to other lakes. Definitely not during a cold front because uh, we all know how cold fronts are for fishing. So with that being said, I'm not gonna tell you guys to like and subscribe. You already know to do that. And uh, like always. If you'd like to watch some more videos, click right over in here and I'll see y'all next week for another episode of Tyler's Fishing Post.